In this episode of Home Theater Geeks, I talk about a new LED TV technology. So stay tuned. Podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Hey there, Scott Wilkinson here, the Home Theater Geek. In this episode, I'm going to talk about a new technology that was introduced at CES 2025 for LED TVs, what are really LCD TVs with LED backlights, and more specifically, mini LED TVs. Um, Hisense and Samsung at CES introduced this new technology uh, that I it looks like it might give OLEDs a run for their money. Uh, it's, it's surprising for me to say that, but it could be. And since then, Sony announced that it's also been working on the same technology. It's called RGB LED. Instead of blue LEDs in the background, uh, in the backlight, which we can see in graphic one, this is provided by Sony, uh, sort of just to show this is this is a conventional backlight with blue LEDs. <coughs> it uses red, green, and blue LEDs in basically each LED or has a red, green, and blue sub LED in it, I guess you could say. Uh, so each LED is really full color and and controllable to produce just about any uh, any full color. Uh, the next graphic shows the basic structure of a current QLED TV. There's a blue mini LED backlight, a quantum dot enhancement film, which has red and green quantum dots in it when combined with blue makes white. And what you end up with is a low resolution black and white version of the image. That light then uh, passes through color filters in the LCD layer to form the full color image. This has been around for a few years and it's a really good technology. It works great. Um, now graphic four shows the new RGB LED structure. The backlight has red, green, and blue LEDs, um, mini LEDs really, which form a full color image, though at, again, at a lower resolution uh, in the backlight. This light then passes through an LCD layer with uh, red, green, and blue filters to form a much higher resolution final image. So it has several advantages. It has greatly increased brightness. Hisense showed a prototype with 10,000 nits of brightness. Now, no home content is mastered with 10,000 nits. The most they go up to is 4,000 nits. So you got a lot of headroom there. <laughs> uh, but it also offers a lot less blooming uh, around images, bright images on a dark background. Um, it also has a wider color gamut. Hisense claims 97% of BT2020 and a larger color volume, which we can see here. The uh, color volume of W OLED is relatively small. QD OLED is quite a bit larger. Uh, Mini LED LCD TV is larger. And RGB is the largest yet. That has the largest color volume, which means colors remain saturated over a greater range of brightness levels. Uh, so that's a pretty big advantage. It also has a better color spectrum, uh, which we can see here. The, uh, the gray line is a typical color spectrum for a mini LED TV, a conventional one. And you can see it's very similar in the blue and the green, although it's a bit wider in the green, but it's quite a bit shorter in the red. But with an RGB LED backlight, you could, that's the colored line you see here. And uh, it's a narrower green and a much taller and narrower red. 
uh, in the spectrum, which gives you a lot of advantages, a uh, greater color volume, greater color gamut. And, uh, those are all really good things. Now, Sony flew a few journalists to its Tokyo headquarters. Uh, sadly, I was not included in that trip, but oh well. Uh, and all were quite amazed at the picture quality. All the reports I read were really, really glowing. According to uh, Ryan Waniata at Wired, uh, the prototype had richer and more saturated colors than the Bravia 9, which Sony put the prototype next to and the, even the Bravia 8 OLED. And it was clearly brighter than the Bravia 9, which is the probably one of the brightest uh, consumer TVs you can buy today. He was also impressed with the off-axis performance, um, which surprises me because LCD has this basic problem with off-axis performance, but apparently the Sony prototype performed very well in that regard. But he did say the black levels were not as good as OLED, which in, is typically the case for LCD-based TVs. Now, Sony claims that it can reproduce 99% of the DCI P3 color gamut, which is what's used in commercial cinema and in T 4K Ultra HD TVs these days, and 90% of BT2020, which is the sort of ultimate color gamut. Um, uh, the prototypes still use color filters uh, like conventional QLED uh, or, or other forms of, of LCD TVs, uh, along with Sony's XR color booster and other technologies. Now, the Hisense 116-inch UX trichroma RGB TV using this technology is set for release in 2025. Uh, Samsung didn't disclose much, disclose much about its technology at CES. Sony expects to have RGB LED TVs on the market in 2026. Now, could this technology give OLED some real competition, it could. At first, it's likely to be very expensive, very expensive. Maybe more than OLED, which is already more expensive than any type of LCD TV. I will reserve judgment on off-axis performance until I actually get to see one for myself. I'm skeptical because LCD TVs, that's an Achilles heel for all TVs based on LCD technology. Uh, it, it, can it possibly be as good as OLED? We'll see. Um, on the other hand, it'll certainly be much, much brighter than OLED uh, and with greater color volume than even a QD OLED. So it's a very interesting technology, and I wanted to share it with you uh, as a sort of a preview of things to come. Not, not a day, of, not a dull moment in the TV industry, that's for sure. So... Um, Hope you enjoyed that. Now, if you have a question for me, please send it along to htg at twit.tv. And I'll answer as many as I can right here on the show. And as you undoubtedly know by now, all of Twit's shows are available on YouTube for free, but with ads. If you want to go ad free, join the club. Go to twit.tv slash club twit and sign up today to get all of Twit's shows, including Home Theater Geeks, ad-free. Until next time, geek out. Hey, buddy, are you a geek? Are you a tech enthusiast? Then I would love to invite you to join a tech community like no other. You can gain exclusive access to our incomparable quality tech content with Club Twit. As a member, you'll enjoy all Twit TV shows ad-free, plus access private video feeds for insider shows like iOS Today, Home Theater Geeks, and so much more. Dive into the members-only Twit Plus bonus feed for behind-the-scenes content, club discussions, and special events. But here's the best perk. Join our incredible Discord community to watch live show productions, chat with hosts, and participate in exclusive members-only activities. It's your backstage pass to the world of Twit. Whether you're a tech enthusiast or a lifelong learner, Club Twit elevates your knowledge while entertaining your interests. Get two weeks free when you sign up now 
and unlock unparalleled access at twit.tv slash club twit. That's twit.tv slash club twit. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you and welcome to the club.